Simpsons Toy video, we're gonna be building three different dollhouses and each one is gonna represent a different occult. The Sims 4 recently released the new werewolves game pack and everyone is talking about occults, werewolves, vampires, spellcasters. So I thought it would be really fun to build a home for each of those occults. And if you aren't familiar with a dollhouse style in The Sims 4, it's this kind of popular style of building, especially on social media platforms like Instagram and Twitter because it's a very open concept kind of build style. Not only is it a unique and functional way for your sims to live, but it also showcases the interior very well without having to change the wall heights to adjust the view. So let's get started building our shell for the first occult. We're going to be building first for werewolves. I figured it just came out. We have to do it. I have been kind of playing around with this new pack, but I currently have this build series, which is taking up so much of my time. But I have been dabbling a little bit into this because I I really love the style of the build and buy that came with this pack. I've been playing around with it a little bit off camera, but I haven't done anything on my channel yet about it. So today we are going to be using this opportunity to dive in. <laughs> so the style we're going to go for with this today is going to be very grungy, but also a little bit like foresty, overgrown, planty. There's this really cool roof paint we got. This one here, I'm obsessed. We also got like these ones with different colors on them and everything, but that with the moss on top of the roof, it's gonna be great for those like abandoned kind of builds. You could make some really cool stuff with this new pack. I'm gonna get my filter on and for each of these dollhouses, I'm gonna try and use like the packs that come with that occult obviously. So like later we'll be using Realm of Magic for the spell casters and stuff, but I'm gonna be putting these columns here from werewolves, the werewolves pack. I'm gonna use that to hold up my flooring that I've got up here, like a little balcony we can place. And I'm actually gonna open this up because right now we don't really have much of that dollhouse style happening. So we're going to use these new spandrels. I'm going to put them right in between there. I think I'm also going to open this part up up top. So I'm going to go in and hold control on my keyboard so I can delete that wall. The wood that I'm using currently is from Cottage Living, but we did get a new one from the werewolves pack too. This one here, the rough and tumble tile, the whole like aesthetic of this is so fun. And I'm also going to open up that part there so we can see through into, I think this is going to be the bedroom up top. Cool. So I'm pretty content with my layout. I need to get stairs. We have to figure out how we're going to get up here and then I think I could probably get a ladder in here. Maybe to go up to the top floor we can put a ladder like right there. All right let's get some wallpaper and the wallpaper that came with this also it's not meant to be a colorful pack obviously but I do love some of the swatches we got like the yellow and some of the greens are really fun. So I think I'm gonna go for like a yellow and green today playing into that like moss on the roof. We'll have like the brown warm tones for this. It's gonna be fun to see how different all of these are gonna end up too. For my door I love this one here this cute little like wooden one and same as these windows like I love the openness of them and these ones would be great for like literally old factories it literally says that that was my first thought so we've got our windows I'm gonna add a little chimney and then after that I think we can probably start to furnish so right here I actually wanted to close this off with like an island I thought it would be really fun to have this open concept kind of kitchen here so I'm gonna go in I think with snowy escape I like the color scheme with that and I'm gonna put these all the way across so that no one can get through that way I'm gonna open up debug because there are some like crafting items that I want to use like some of these old bar chairs would be fun. There's also like tables in that aesthetic for anything that I don't have within the werewolves pack. I'm gonna do one just kind of like off to the side here. Not gonna be functional but I think it looks kind of cool like that. Let's just go crazy with some of these new items here. I've got my filter on. I also have debug on at the moment. I don't think I did bb.live edit though. Wait a minute. What do we have here? I love looking through debug items with new packs. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god, that's so cool. It has the wolf face in it. How did I miss all this stuff? <laughs> okay, focus, focus. Oh, their urns are so cool. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use this new rug. I wanna see the swatches here. That one there actually is pretty cute. I don't mind the default, but I wanna maybe do like that yellow one could be cute. I love this new mailbox. We got this woodsy mailbox. This sundial is adorable. Oh, and we got some new plants too. I think I'm gonna try and put those so that they're going around this way a little bit. Those are cute. We can add some tires just for aesthetic. I need a trash can, which I'm going to use this yellow one, maybe a green one here. And then with these snowy escape counters, I have so much room to clutter. I want to add all of this stuff, which I think, yeah, this is one of my favorite new items. I love these little like clutter pieces here and this one with the stamps. All these little like debug items I think can go down here as well. And then just for design of this bottom floor, I want to add, I think, some cottage living vines. Like these going up the 
side I think could be really pretty and kind of pull it together with the look that I'm going for. Even just going along this metal part here I think could be pretty. And I'm gonna hang some fairy lights. This is kind of giving like treehouse a little bit, which I don't really mind to be honest. Oh, also I wanted to see if the little campers kit would look cute with this because I think with that like DIY style of furniture, it's gonna come together really well. Ooh, maybe with that. Oh, how cute. Oh, I love it so far. Okay, let's start to do maybe this floor up here. So we could use maybe this old worn couch. Oh, you know what I really love too is these storage chests. I think these are so pretty. Let's put those there. Get some chairs maybe going on the side. I need to make sure I'm not blocking my stairway. And the thing with this stuff too is I can kind of just like messily put it there. Like I'm angling it different ways. The best part about building in this style is it doesn't have to be perfect. I also wanted to add the debug TV here from Eco Lifestyle with maybe another rug to pull this area together. This one from Laundry Day is pulling that red from the couch. We'll get a couple more plants here and there. And then I really want to add the telescope, one of my favorite new items. Me saying that about like every new item. But this item, I think it would be really fun if we put this upstairs. And then up here can be our bedroom, but we can also have this like telescope area. I'm gonna put like a chair next to it. So one spends a lot of time up here. Maybe we can put that rug there with a different swatch and I need to get a bed. I do kind of wish we had a double bed in this, but I'm gonna go ahead and find a cute swatch with this. Maybe like that. The detail on these items is so fun too. Like a lot of them are made from like other objects. Like I think there's like a door table somewhere. This here is so cute. Yeah, they knocked it out of the park with these like build items for sure. We'll do a shelf over there. We can fill that up with some fun stuff too. I'm pretty sure this functions as a dresser, which is cool. So I think I'm gonna put that in the corner. And then this is what I wanted for my end table. These like crafted end tables. I'm probably gonna use those downstairs too. Oh, and we can put the moonlight on there. This is so adorable. I want that in my like real house. Same as this lamp, so cute. Okay, so this is how I've decorated my bedroom and look how cute this is with the lighting in here. All of the lighting that we got with the new pack kind of gives off this like warm vibe. Plus with like the messy look that I'm going for, like tons of clutter, tons of things everywhere. It just looks so like cozy in the weirdest way. You know what I mean? Also look at my stargazing area. I added this new like werewolf gnome that we've got. This s'more kit is from the little campers kit. Same as this pillow that I added on the ground with our like stargazing thing. So I think that looks so cute. Also, this is the area on the second floor that kind of got pulled together with that rug we added. I also added another moon lamp because you honestly can't get enough here. So yeah, that part looks really nice. You can see it from the outside too, which is cool. And then in here, I just did this like small reading area. This is a new desk that came with werewolves. This clock is new too. I love that clock. And then these here were from the little campers kit, which I'm surprisingly using a lot of this. And especially if we were doing like a werewolves like family home, it would work out great. I still have to do the bottom floor and this bathroom in here, which we do have some fun like wooden bathroom stuff I want to use like this toilet. <laughs> the in-house outhouse, love it. Also, there's like a shower I want to use. Maybe that one from Strangerville, the DIY shower. I mean, kind of fitting. I'll put the toilet there and then for my sink, maybe we'll use this one here from Laundry Day. DIY sink, perfect. Or we'll do a toilet here, sink here so I can put a mirror there, which I do know we got a new one. This one is like all cracked. And now I'm just gonna add a couple more things in here. Obviously it's not the most bougie of bathrooms. Maybe we'll put a couple like scratches on the floor. <laughs> the footprint. That can be my shower mat. I love it. Or even like this here. That's actually perfect. Okay, so bathroom is looking cool in there. We're gonna move on to do the final part of this build, which will be the downstairs. So in here, I do want to do the kitchen. I know we got a cool dining table that we could add. Maybe we'll use these like base game counters here. Yeah, this is the dining table I was talking about earlier. Like, look how cool that is with the book down there. This one is like a door desk, literally with like a door ripped off. But we'll do dining table here. I'm gonna change the watch some more of like a brown color. Maybe we can use this torn rug here if I shrink it from Get Famous. And then after we get all my essentials, I really want this place to look messy, cluttered, really just like unorganized in here. So we can do some seating over here. We could do maybe, I want to get that trunk from base game, like this one to match the new ones we got from the new pack. This jungle adventure table could look good pressed up against the island. And then I can clutter all that area. So we can get some more little knickknacks like these on here. I want to find just some like book clutter. And with all the clutter that I added, this is what it's looking like. We've got like a pop-up book over here from the new kit, some boxes of clutter, bookshelf on the trunk. I also added this one here from Cats and Dogs, which I thought matched the
the aesthetic so well. I cluttered up the kitchen. We've got little knickknacks on the shelves over there, some cottage living clutter too, some debug items over there, and I love the whole warm and cozy vibe of this combined with that like rugged feeling. This is cute. I like it. I wonder which one is going to be our favorite. I also did the landscaping here. I do have to place this in Moonwood Mill, the new world, but this is what our dollhouse is looking like for the werewolves. Let's move on to the next one. I think the next one we should probably do vampires, right? So what I think of vampires in The Sims 4, I think of like a Victorian style, always like older from that Victorian era, dark colors, dark patterns, kind of just like haunted house vibes, honestly. So I know I'm going to have a tower. I'm going to use my flooring tool here just to add the balconies and like the areas that I want. So just adjusting this until I get something that I like. So something like that. I think this is what I'm going to roll with for my shelf for vampires. I'm going to get my filter on and we're going to use the vampires wallpaper, the flooring. I love the wood that comes with vampires. Vampires, I think, is an underrated pack. I've always said this. I think a lot of the items are gorgeous. They're so detailed in this pack. So hopefully I'm going to be able to like showcase that a little bit. We're going to get some black trim to cover up those white lines there made by the flooring and I'm going to roof it because it looks so weird without it. So we're going to get that octagon roof piece. Honestly, I'm probably just going to like raise it up like that, add some black trim on there, some black paint, and we're going to be good to go. But obviously I don't want to leave it just like that. So I'm going to go in and I think add a couple more roof pieces, maybe just like these ones here. I can pull this across so it's covering. And the thing with vampires we have to be careful about is they like cannot be in sunlight. So this dollhouse aesthetic is going to wreck their lives a little bit, <laughs> but we're going to compensate for that. We're going to make sure we have an area where they can like sleep, hide from the sun if they need to, you know, not die. I think this might look better actually if I put the roofing on this floor here and then instead of four floors, we do three. That is so much better. And I'm going to curve it a little bit. I'm going to use a shift C on my keyboard so I can open up those like double adjusters. And I'm going to just bring this in a little bit just for like a tiny little curve there. That's so much better. All right, let's go back in with our columns. I like to leave this area here so that I can put a door and that way no other Sims can just like walk up since the build is so open. Like you don't want your Sims to just be walking into your house, you know? So if we put our door in there, no one else will be able to get in except for your Sim unless you like don't lock your door. <laughs> so we've got our stairs out front there. I need some stairs to get up as well. So I'm going to take these and maybe just rotate them like that. And then we'll have a small nook area in there. Maybe I can do like a bookshelf or something, but that'll get us up to the second floor. I don't know why I'm so concerned about this because vampires in The Sims 4 can literally fly. <laughs> so, but we'll do a ladder going up to the second floor. I'll be adding my vampire fencing, I think only to the second floor. And then for the third floor, I'm just going to use a smaller fence here, which I'm honestly not concerned again about my Sims falling off here because they can fly. But just in case, maybe you have a faulty vampire. So we'll have a door here, that room in there. I have this like tiny little room that I can do as a bedroom. This is where I'm going to put like the coffin. That's where a vampire can sleep. And then up here, we're going to do bathroom on the second floor. And I kind of want to do like a walk-in closet or something in the vampire aesthetic. I think that would be kind of fun upstairs. But let's start down below. I'm going to again get my Sims 4 vampires filter on. And you guys are going to see it. This furniture is so detailed, especially for its time. It's so good. We definitely got to have the Vlad picture, which I have seen all too often lately. The grandfather clock. Look at that detail on there. We'll get some wall decor. I think this is just going to be like a sitting room here. I could add a bookshelf or something in there. Like a bookshelf at the end of this hallway could be fun. I feel like I should be decorating this build at night, right? Like we got to see the glow from the candles in the nighttime. We'll have these like wall candles all over lighting the place up. And these chandeliers, again, just so pretty, so detailed. I think I'm going to try and use these ones in here if I can. They just hang a little bit low. And if I shrink it, the candles kind of like go in all weird places. But I really want to use that big one. Maybe I can put it like right when you walk in. So this is what the downstairs is looking like. I added some more vampire decor. These lanterns I thought looked so pretty with this. The clock area over there and just some seating basically like a living room. Let's move to this room here. So this is going to be the coffin room. <laughs> Little spooky, I know. Upstairs, I still plan on doing a bedroom and everything, but for this room, just in case it gets a little too sunny, this is where the vampire can come and like hide out. Like obviously with these items in here, I mean, it's a little bit spooky, you know, it's okay. Oh, we can hang this beautiful tapestry in here. 
I need a little bit more light. I know we're trying to hide from the light and everything in here, but still. These will match the style in here from base game, these like candle holders, and they actually give off a decent amount of light too. So we'll put those there. I think I'm gonna put like a rug or something. It gotta make it comfy, you know? As comfy as you could be sleeping in a freaking coffin. And then maybe to this side, I can add in some chairs, like a mirror, maybe a full dresser. Like we'll do it like a full bedroom. We can put that in the corner. I also wanna add, there's like a stand up mirror, I think from this pack. Like this one here would look cool maybe in the corner there. So I added some plants. I added this little like stand with a statue on it, some chairs, another mirror. And this is how our coffin bedroom is looking. I'm kind of getting the vibe that maybe there's like a vampire that lives here with like a non-vampire like spouse or something. Hence why like I'm gonna be building a kitchen. I've got stairs. A regular vampire doesn't need any of those things. But this is what the coffin bedroom is looking like. So upstairs, like I said, the kitchen is gonna be kind of pointless because vampires don't eat food. So that's why I think it makes sense to have like a non-vampire living here or maybe this vampire likes to cook food, like has that skill or hobby, but like doesn't eat it. <laughs> it would actually be a really fun storyline to have a vampire who works in like a regular kitchen, like a diner. <laughs> and they just cook for people like regular food that they don't eat. And that's where they met their partner. So we'll just do a dining table for two over here. I might put like a seating area or a couch or something just to fill up space. Like this one, I actually really like that couch too. Oh, actually vampires has a really cute bar. So I could put the bar maybe over in this corner. I'm gonna put these again to add a little bit of light. And I've been using these little things here, these like pedestals as tables. So I think I'm gonna like shrink that down and I can raise up some clutter or something. That is massive. Like I can lower that down and make sure that it's gonna fit on my table. Ooh, I might use that for my closet upstairs. That's a good idea. And vampires also has bathroom stuff. So while I'm on this floor, this is where my bathroom is gonna go. They've got the shower and everything. I can put the shower in here. Do we have a toilet? Oh, we do have a toilet. This like old style one, I forgot. And on top of that, I'm gonna use the vampire's mirror. This one here I think is so pretty. So we'll put that there, change this watch so it's more of like a black and white vibe. So this is what our second floor ended up looking like with all the clutter. I added again some more lanterns on the table. We've got some weird like journey to Batu herbs up there. The bar over to this area. And I thought these looked really cool here. Those are from Spa Day with those like tiny little lights on them. So cool. I've always loved this like vampires aesthetic. This is what our bathroom ended up looking like. I added some curtains there for some privacy, some towels on there also from the vampires pack, our shower bathtub combo. And upstairs is where I'm gonna do my like normal bedroom and vampires has this bed, but I'm not 100% on the swatches that we have. I was hoping we had more of like a black on black kind of thing. So instead of using that bed, I'm gonna use one from base game. This one here, so expensive. We're gonna use it in the all black shade. I love this bed. And then this is where I wanted to do my walk-in closet. So I'm again gonna get those pedestals from vampires. And then on these, we could add some clutter items. But what I also wanna do, I think vampires has a shelf, which I wanna use some dream home decorator clothing to hang from that. So we're gonna go ahead and grab these shelves here from dream home decorator. I'm gonna shrink them down so they're like barely visible and place them right underneath my shelf. Then I'm gonna be able to go in and grab some black clothing here that I'll be able to hang. And it's gonna look like it's hanging from that shelf instead of the like modern one. And then on these pedestals, I can go in and also use some like dream home decorator clutter. Like these, I can put these right on top of my pedestal along with like some other boxes in black. We could get some shoes hanging out down here too. And I think I might do the same thing on the other side. Like bring this over here and we can do a symmetrical kind of thing. So this is our closet. I added a jungle adventure mirror in there, some hanging plants, this stand up mirror from vampires. And I didn't add a second pedestal, but I do have another like hanging clothing piece over here. I think this looks so cool. Then out here, we can add a rug. Maybe I'll do like this fluffy one in black. I don't think I've ever used this organ. So I think I'm gonna place that like over in this corner. Your Sims will still be able to get up the ladder or fly if they're vampires. And then I'm thinking also about doing a desk area. And I know that paranormal stuff has a really cute one in all black. Like this one here, that is gonna be perfect for this. So after adding a few more details, this is what my bedroom is looking like. I added a seating area, some plants, another dresser from vampires and a plant and computer to pull it all together. And I think you need a computer to buy the plasma too. So that's gonna be really helpful. I also went ahead and did our landscaping. I added this graveyard right at the front, which is so fitting. I've got all the like dead trees in the back from vampires. And this is what our second dollhouse is looking like. This is the vampire dollhouse. Kind of creepy. And the final one we're gonna be doing is our spellcaster occult with Realm of Magic. So I think out of 
all of them. Realm of Magic is gonna be more colorful, more like pastel than the other ones. And if you don't know, the spellcasters like Realm of Magic game pack in The Sims 4 is basically like witches. They can do magic spells. It's actually a really fun pack. I do enjoy some occult gameplay from time to time. I think the shell here is actually gonna be kind of simple. I'm gonna add a room there and a room on top of here. And I think I might just copy and paste the flooring that I have here on top. The other ones were more like squared off. I think it would be fun for this one to be a little bit more rounded in shape. So something like that there. And then I have my door area where I can like make sure no Sims are creeping. And then I'm thinking for my roofing, we go kind of weird with it. Let's go in with some like round roof pieces, but make them big and we'll cover up these like curved floor pieces as well. So I'm gonna go in with one there, one here and one here. I'm very down for this to be kind of like funky. So I'm gonna make some weird roofing pieces with some weird colors on here. Maybe we can do like a pink. We could even do like multicolor ones. Maybe a blue in there. That looks so weird right now. We can have it held up by, I think I'm gonna use some like romantic garden columns. And then I'll use these to just hold up my roofing pieces. So each little corner here is gonna have one and I'm probably gonna have to adjust this so that they're actually holding it up. Okay, so I had to do a little bit of adjusting to my roofing. I curved them in a little so that they had like a witch hat vibe. And I'm adding these here, which are actually from vampires, I think. Yeah, those are going right on top of these just for like a little bit of added detail. I've also added a realm of magic fence around and some bandrels around my columns as well. And around the back, I added some of these realm of magic windows, stained glass, so pretty. I still need a front door, so I'm gonna get that, I think in just white. And I did wanna add like this awning over top too. So I'm gonna put that right above my door. Let's start out down below on this first floor here. I think I wanna add a big cauldron right in the center. I think you can actually cook from this too, which is cool. This room here though might be my kitchen. I don't really know yet. This could be where we cook food and then over here could be where we like mix and make potions. I have been dying to use this. They have that like pink swatch in there with the butterflies is so pretty. I might even add two. So two there and then in between, I think I'm gonna add this here. These are just like cabinets that I think would be like helpful if you're mixing potions. You just like grab it and throw it in there. I love these candle holders here too from Realm of Magic. So I'm gonna put those in. I'm having a little bit of struggle here because of the curved walls. It's making it really difficult for me to place my furniture here for some reason. Let's put this right in the middle of the cauldron here. We can use these big hanging lights here, maybe like right over top. They might be too big. Actually, no, they're not that bad. I can add one there and I'm gonna put one on the top floor as well. Realm of Magic also has some couches and seating options. So I'm gonna put some of those over here, I think in this like pinky swatch. We can add a coffee table and we have end table options too. I'm gonna open up debug again because I wanna get some of the brooms to hang on the wall. So Realm of Magic has some really cool debug items like potions, crystal balls. I'm probably gonna put some of those upstairs in the bedroom, but for now I wanna do some like broomsticks on the wall, just ready to take off and go for a ride. Like those I think look really pretty right there. And then in this room, this is where I was thinking of having an actual like formal kitchen. And Realm of Magic actually has some stuff that we can use too for that, which like they have counters, they have ovens, I think. I do find some of this stuff hard to use in regular builds, but when you're going for this like occult style in The Sims 4, I do really enjoy Realm of Magic. Probably not my favorite in terms of build and buy options we have for occults, but I do think in terms of gameplay, it might be my favorite. Although I haven't dove too much into the werewolves gameplay. So if you guys have been doing that, let me know how you like it. So we'll have our oven over here. We're gonna have room to prep on my island. Now all I have to do is clutter. So with the clutter down stairs. This is what it's looking like. I added a sink near the cauldron just in case it gets messy. We've got all our potion cabinets over there. I added some extra like things on here, like some spell books. I thought those from City Living looked really pretty in here. And then in our kitchen, we've got all the essentials. I added some clutter on here, some like things that looked like potions. I added this little plant here in that terrarium, some Realm of Magic lighting. And I think this looks so fun. Realm of Magic also has a lot of bathroom items. I think actually like a full set. Yeah, we have toilet. I know we have a shower. I don't know if we have a bathtub. Yeah, no bathtub, but that's okay. Actually, I kind of want to use the one from like, yeah, Get Famous. This matches the aesthetic totally because there's like the swan bathtub and Realm of Magic has this like swan or peacock sink. I also love the pink style of this, like not something you see every day. So I'm totally down to use this kind of like plumbing stuff in here, the pink. We can bring in a really cool rug underneath the bathtub. Jungle Adventure mirror would look so pretty in here maybe with some like fairy lights as well. We'll do a pink towel in here by the sink. So this is what our bathroom ended up looking like. I have that base game mirror above there, some candlesticks in here. It looks very like cozy, which is funny because this is actually a 
pretty big bathroom. And finally, we're gonna move out and do our bedroom here, which I'm pretty sure Realm of Magic also has a bed. Yeah, okay, let's use this one. I think I'm just gonna use it in all white. Oh, the fireplace would look really cool if I can get it on this wall here. Like right there, we can put the crystal fireplace. We also have some dressers from Realm of Magic, which I kind of want to put some like crystal balls on there, potions. Oh, and we have this here, which I can fill up with storage. Look how cute that is with like the moon on there. So I'm gonna use some like pastel stuff for my clutter, the crystal balls. I think we're gonna use like the pink ones. I can put that here. They also give off a little bit of light too. These pictures I want to put on the wall because there's like a little bit of that pink color in there. And maybe I can do a seating area, like the paranormal stuff, chairs or something. Oh, like these could look cute. We'll use the paranormal chairs here and do like a seating area. And this is how our final floor turned out. I added some more spell books in here. I hung up some plants that come with Realm of Magic up top and I thought they added a really pretty like pastel color scheme in here. The clutter, I've got a magic wand on there, some paranormal clutter going on too. Our cabinet filled with crystal balls and potions and our bed area looking so pretty over there as well. This whole like challenge was so fun for me. I love doing dollhouse builds and with the landscaping, this is how it turned out. I think it looks like a little carousel or something, just something so magical. All you need is a portal here and it's gonna look so good. So that is all I got for you guys. I will put each of these on the gallery under Sydney Macarada if you wanna download them. Let me know if you guys have any build suggestions or anything you wanna see from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.